A brief overview to minting and burning of USDS on the Spearex protocol. Banks are becoming digitalized, but they still sit on top of the traditional financial system, which has been proven to be slow, expensive, and full of questionable actors. There is much room for improvement, particularly in the realm of censorship resistance. USDS aims to be the first crypto dollar protocol to be completely transparent and collateralized by censorship resistant collaterals like BTC and ETH. Introducing USDS, a crypto dollar protocol that remains pegged to the US dollar, earns interest and has no reliance on the traditional financial infrastructure. In this video, we will explain how USDS will maintain a $1 peg thanks to two-sided arbitrage. SpearX protocol is managed completely by on-chain algorithms. This means that no central banker can determine whether or not more USDS should be printed. The only way USDS can be printed or burned is by arbitrage trading. Let's look at two examples to see how the built-in features of Spearex allow for arbitrage to be profitable and bring the peg back to $1. Oh no, there is too much USDS in circulation. You know this because it's trading below the peg. At this point, no centralized company prints more USDS. Rather, arbitrage traders will reduce the supply of USDS through burning because it's profitable to do so. When USDS is trading at 98 cents, arbitrage traders will purchase USDS on the open market and send them to the Spearex protocol to burn. The result is that the buying pressure will increase USDS to $1, while also decreasing the circulating supply. What happens when there isn't enough USDS to go around? You know this because it's trading above the peg. Remember, no centralized actors are allowed to mint USDS out of thin air. When USDS is trading at a dollar and two cents, arbitrage traders will send collateral like ETH and BTC to the Spearex protocol to mint more USDS. Traders can send one dollar worth of collateral and receive one dollar and two cents worth of USDS, which can then be sold on the open market. This sale will push the price of USDS down to one dollar while increasing the circulating supply of USDS. Depending on market conditions, the protocol will either rely more on explicit collateral rather than the algorithmic component. When the market outlook is good, the protocol will become more algorithmic. When times are bad, the protocol will rely almost exclusively on crypto collateral. USDS is the first protocol to be truly resistant to censorship while remaining highly scalable and pegged to the US dollar.